Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is up? I'm the Super Saiyan 4 Gamer back here with more Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. Let's get started with World 3 with 3-1. Our first underwater stage of the game. Not much to say here, just keep swimming along and swimming along until you get to the end. Of course, avoiding, or if you have a fire flower, defeating any enemies in your way. I swear, when I when I first found this secret area when I was little, it was like, I was like, oh my god, I didn't know you could go up here. I, I, you know, I was like so excited as if I found Jesus or something. Like, Jesus has finally arrived because I found that secret area. It's like, no, all it leads to is a fire flower. Calm down. But hey, when you're a kid, the smallest things are cool, so... <laughs> Give me a break. What do you want from me? Okay, we're done with that level. I was contemplating whether or not to do that card game, cause you know, I mean, they're fun. To, they're fun to do, see if you can clear a deck or not. But other than that, they're pretty useless. So that's why I always pause when they show up. It's like, do I want to do them? Do I not want to do them? But this level consists of basically riding a platform over a large, expansive pool of water. All the while having cheap cheap jump out of the pool and try to strike you. But that's not really an issue with my handy dandy fire flower here. Because I can just turn them all into fish, tic fish sticks. See, I, I just barely... Oh, see, I cannot believe that happened. Like, just barely moved over to see, to see, like, the, the very edge of the piranha plant to see when it was going to pop up and then recede back into his pipe. And then once I see that he recedes, obviously I jump over there. But I kind of overshot the jump just, just enough to allow him to come up and hit me there. frog suit um yeah the frog suits kind of useless because they are they're absolutely no help on land I mean they do allow you to jump higher on land than you would normally but as far as movement goes the frog suit sucks ass the giant fish in the water his name is Boss Bass, and he will try to literally eat you. He will swallow you, and Mario disappears off the screen, implicating his death by being eaten. I always hate this level. Yay, but we're done, and I usually don't survive that level, but I, but I did that time, surprisingly. Now, uh, I, uh, just use the music box to get it out of the, get it out of my inventory, because, uh, once again, a pretty useless item, along with the cloud. Like, why, why would I want to skip any of the levels? I mean, if the level's hard enough, I'll use a P-Wing to get through it. I, but I don't outright skip it, because, you know, that's just kind of lame. I'm going to go down here so I can get myself a Super Leaf, so I can transform into Raccoon Mario here.
And if you go through door number five, it leads you to an extra life. Door number six is the door you're supposed to go through in order to get to Boom Boom. I hate it. I hate it when it drops into the water, so... I knew I hit the block from the wrong side the instant the instant I did it, so I was like, oh no, you're not going in the water this time, bitch. Because it, it is really a bitch to get... It, it might even cost you a life if you try to go in there, because there are cheap cheeps in there, and you're frantically trying to get that life, and... But anyway, here we are at Boom Boom, and if you notice, the se the first time you hit him, um, he will start to fly, but I never gave him the chance to, so never mind that. I hate this game, it's not fair! I wanted a star. Oh well, whatever. I I I hate these Hammer Brothers stages where the where there's a shallow a shallow pool that a shallow pool of water. Because especially if you're small Mario, you're pretty much fucked here. If you're small Mario and there's a shallow pool. Yeah, and you give me a star for defeating them when when a star probably would have been useful beforehand. But I suppose that's my fault because I had stars on hand before and I used them all, I think. So, can't really blame the game for that one. Yeah, when I first got to this level when I was a kid, I didn't know about that hidden block, so I used to always just fly over there. It was one time when I fell in, I was like trying to scramble up the wall or something, and then I, then I noticed that hidden block, I'm like, oh, okay. Ah, Lackey 2, you bastard, you have returned to wreak havoc on unsuspecting souls. See? You bastard, I hate you! Right there is when I just ran for my freaking life. Cause if I if I didn't start running now, start running then, I I knew I was gonna die. So. Yeah, and I, I my memory my memory is crap when it comes to these decks because sometimes sometimes you don't get them close enough together to really remember where each thing is, so my memory is utter crap when it comes to that, so I was just guessing. Now, for this water level, I try to, like, stay up near the surface most of the time to avoid the enemies that are down low, but since I have a fire flower, ooh, I forgot about that part, I almost lost it right there. Um, since I have a fire flower, it's not too bad, but still, I like to stay up near the top as much as I can, unless it forces me to go down. Oh, Jesus. Unless it forces me to go down. <laughs> yeah. Gross. There's one, there's one where you're like trying to dodge an entire school of Gelectros, those electric jellyfish. I wonder if that's where Spongebob got the idea to have the jellyfish shock, shock you if you get stung. Alright, we're going to... Uh, 3-6 now, 
and I like to use a uh, super leaf here because in this level <coughs> in this level you're dangling over nothing and it's an uh, bleh, and it's an auto scroll level so it's kind of imperative that you have a super leaf I mean it's it's highly possible to do without one but still it's much easier to do with one Right here you get a nice little break from all the from all the pits. And right here is where trouble could happen if you don't have a super leaf. Oh and yeah, that could be a trap for many beginning players right there. They go through the pipe, they think they're free, and they start running and boop right off the edge. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Okay, for this level, you should probably try and stay up as much as possible since most of the... I don't even know their names. Bastard. I don't know their names, but they uh, throw their shells or what? I don't know what they're throwing at you, like... I'm just gonna say they're shells or something. But yeah, you want to stay up as much as possible to avoid those guys. Because down on the ground, it's a freaking nightmare. See, that thing just bounced me right into that Venus, fl um, that fire, that fire plants seeds. Ooh, I am getting lucky as hell with that. Yeah, I don't know why I hesitated there for a second, but I did for some reason. I guess, like, sometimes I forget that I'm recording, and then it's like, Okay, dude, are you gonna move? <laughs> So this is, I think, the only underwater castle level of the game, as far as I can remember. So this one's actually pretty clever, especially with the stretch platforms, aka boo platform. See, that was bullcrap right there. Oh. Uh -huh. No! Screw you, boom boom. Screw you. Yep. My first death was at boom boom, and I am utterly ashamed of myself. I don't know whether I should just like end my life right now because seriously, my first my first death couldn't my first death couldn't be against anything challenging. No, my first death had to be against boom boom. Fuck you. Bastard. I cannot believe it. <clears throat> and right when that happened, I, th I was like panicking like, oh god, Boom Boom's gonna kill me again. Yes, luckily I defeated him once again. But anyway, uh, this is the end of that. This is the end of the video. Uh, this has been the Super Saiyan 4 Gamer with 
um, let's play Super Mario Bros. 3, uh, join me next time as we finish off World 3, and hopefully we get to World 4, depending on how bad I suck at, um, Wendy's Castle, or Wendy's Airship, rather. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and tell everybody about me on YouTube. This has been the Super Saiyan 4 Gamer, and I will see you guys next time. Later.